Hello and welcome to Reliance Training on Getting Started with Reliance FMEA. In this tutorial, we'll cover an overview of Reliance FMEA so you can start your own analysis. Note the details on editing data in the FMEA worksheet are covered in another Getting Started with Reliance FMEA tutorial with a focus on adding FMEA data. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the welcome dialog. If you do not have this open, click the Help drop down on the top right of your screen and click Welcome to Reliance. In the Welcome dialog, make sure that FMEA is selected using the module selectors on the left. We will be using our drone example in this tutorial, so we click Open Example Analysis. If you have already opened and modified the drone example analysis, you can easily remove all of your changes and return to the example analysis in its as-supplied state by clicking Revert Example in the sidebar, which is highlighted in the message that Reliance is now showing. This is not necessary in this case, so we click Got It to clear the message. Reliance has now opened the Design FMEA worksheet for us, and this is confirmed in the sidebar. On the screen, we can see the sidebar on the left, the analysis tree to the right of the sidebar, this contains our system structure, and the FAMIA worksheet on the right side of the screen. Do note that the rightmost pane also displays the DVPNR tab. DVPNR is an acronym for Design, Verification, Plan, and Report. DVPNR allows you to track the plan you will use to ensure that your product or system meets its design requirements. See the DVPNR Design Verification Plan and Report topic in the Reliance FMEA Advanced Features section of the Reliance Help for more information on DVPNR. By default, the FMEA worksheet shows the FMEA data for the selected system tree item. Note that you can edit the structure of the analysis tree by clicking the Edit button in the toolbar at the top of the Analysis Tree pane. Now each Analysis Tree item has its own FMEA worksheet. So in this example, the quadcopter drone, motherboard, and ground controller Analysis Tree items each has its own FMEA worksheet. This allows you to organize your FMEA data into manageable sections. Note that we will not be covering this functionality in this tutorial, but feel free to edit the analysis tree structure and view the different FMEA worksheets to explore these capabilities. To allow us to see more of the FMEA worksheet, we can collapse the sidebar and then resize the analysis tree window by using the splitter control. And now we can focus on the FMEA worksheet. Let's use the FMEA data for the quadcopter drone for our review of the DFMEA worksheet. So we select the quadcopter drone here in the analysis tree pane. You may have noticed that the FMEA worksheet is color coded. FMEAs have multiple levels of data and each color in the worksheet represents a different level. For example, in the FMEA worksheet, the function and related fields are at the highest level. Each function can have multiple failure modes. Each failure mode can have multiple effects. And each failure mode can also have multiple causes. Note that effects and causes can be thought of as sibling objects, which both have failure mode as a parent. Additionally, each cause can have multiple recommended actions, which are simply not shown in our default DFMEA worksheet view. We can easily view them by clicking the Views drop-down in the top right corner of the worksheet toolbar, and we select the Supplied Recommended Actions view. So our worksheet is updated, and now we're looking at the Reliance Supplied Recommended Actions view, the Recommended Actions fields appear on the rightmost portion of our worksheet. Additionally, 
we can view our FMEA data in a form view. This is particularly helpful for mobile devices with smaller screens. To go to this view, we click To Form on the right side of the toolbar. In the FAMIA Forum view, we see the same data we saw in the table, but in an expanded view. We can move through the items in the FAMIA worksheet by clicking the navigation buttons at the top of the form. Note that this allows me to step through each row of the FAMIA worksheet. So if we click to go to the next row, in this case, we've moved to the first failure mode of the next function. At any time, we can return to the FAMIA Worksheet view. To do so, we simply click To Table in the toolbar. Next, we'll look at reporting in FMEA. First, let's switch back to the Design FMEA view, since we don't want to report on the recommended actions at this time. Since the Report button is in the sidebar, let's expand the sidebar again. Note that the Report button is fully functional with the sidebar collapsed, but expanding the sidebar makes the button easier to find. Now we can see the Report button and description under Functions. In Reliance, all reports are created based on the view you have displayed, which makes reporting very simple. To report, we simply click Report. The report options appears. Here we can set a custom report title and also select the FMEAs to include on the report. The FMEAs dropdown has three options Current FMEA, which will allow us to report on the FMEA worksheet we are viewing for the currently selected analysis tree item, FMEAs for current subsystem and all children which will report the FMEA worksheets for the currently selected analysis tree item and all of its children, or all FMEAs, which will report on all FMEA worksheets in this analysis. Let's leave this field set to current FMEA. Note we also have the option to customize the report header. Then we click Report, which prompts Reliance to open a new browser tab and load the report with our data. We can review the report here in the Browser tab. We could also print the report or download it using the Export option where we can output to PDF, Excel worksheet, PowerPoint presentation, TIFF file which is an image, or Word document. And when we're done viewing this report, we simply close the Browser tab and return to Reliance. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance FMEA Overview Tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.